Hello and welcome to the MXGP of Turkey's pit chat for this weekend. And joining me, we have Honda 114's Hunter Lawrence. Hi, Honda. Finally, you've made it. Yeah, I'm here finally. We uh, ran into some small problems and uh, yeah, just some flumsies on the way here. So now we're all good. Now we're here. So Fashionably late, fashionably late. Well, I wanted to talk to you because it seems that um, I guess podiums are like buses. You're waiting all year for them and then all of a sudden two come along at once. So uh, what's your take on that? Yeah, buses are great then if that's what podiums are. So yeah, for sure. Now I'm happy to have two in a row and uh, looking to make it three. You know, we've been working hard and uh, I'm feeling good on the bike. And uh, yeah, everything seems to be going pretty good now. So hopefully we can keep the momentum rolling and uh, yeah, carry on. Finish out the year, I should say. Sorry, uh, finish off the year on a, on a positive and a strong note. So. But that's what it is. I mean, it's momentum. Like you said, you had back-to-back -back podiums. You waited all year since Argentina for one. You seem to have your speed back, your confidence back, your kind of like Aussie swagger back. What, <laughs> what is that down to, do you think? Yeah, just like you said, the Aussie swagger back, yeah. why not? And uh, no, I'm, I'm back. You know, we've worked uh, hard to get everything back and just being... And being healthy and, and no injuries also has a lot to do with it and stuff. So, uh, but no, it feels good. Uh, I'm back to yeah myself, like you said. Yeah. So uh, it's good, makes me happy, and also the people around me happy. So it's cool. Yeah, because in that first race last weekend, you clearly had the speed. I mean, like you said, you made a couple of flumsies at the start, but you clearly had the speed to get up there with the two top guys and and even challenge for the win, didn't you? Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, first mode, I was I was bummed because I knew knew my, to myself I had had the speed and stuff but yeah we had a good race second one uh, second but no it was good we we didn't leave anything uh, in the tank you know we it wasn't from a lack of trying that we didn't win the second moto so uh, yeah I look forward to this weekend it's hot and humid so uh, I like those conditions and uh, yeah it makes everyone suffer so it's it's good <laughs> Right, the word of the weekend last weekend was flumsy. Okay, so let's, I think we should make up another word for this weekend, like for oh, something. Yeah. Come on, because like, you're good at this. So we've got flumsy. So what should we say for this weekend? Like if you make a pass or if something happens, what word can you create? <laughs> I can't think of it on the spot. It's just oh. got to come to me. <laughs> I don't know. Flumsy, yeah, I don't know. You can't really make a word up for something you haven't done yet. So I mean. Yeah, that's true. So it has to come maybe before quality race or second motor or something yeah. we can see maybe i'll speak to you on the start and you'll have inspiration then for like a, an alternative hunter lawrence word or something yeah, i might be able to spit something out pretty cool but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see <laughs> talking of flumsies i know your uh, mumsy had her birthday didn't she yeah, yeah, uh, how, how did that go yeah 27th birthday uh no she's will pay you later <laughs> for that <laughs> No, she was, uh, yeah, she was happy to see me on the podium and stuff. So it was cool to do that. I told her I wanted to win for her birthday because I'm such a great son and I forgot a birthday present. So really? I had to you make did. up for it. No, but I made up for it. So uh, it's all okay now. And uh, yeah, so hopefully we can may do a good result this weekend to make it even more worth it. So. How did you make up for it? What did you do to redeem yourself? Ah, uh, just, you know, being the best son, you know, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. just the usual, you know, just... A love child, just lovely, that's all. You, just, you were just yourself, you were just, just you. Just myself, just myself, you know. Did the dishes, sweeped the floors and uh, took care of uh, everything that needed to be taken care of. So, yeah, cool. yeah. Good to know, good to know. Now one more question I have to ask you. Now I've interviewed you a couple of times on the start grid. Why is your mechanic, Reese so awkward in the background? It's like he doesn't know <laughs> how to look in the, in the shot. It's a strange one. I mean, I've spoken to him about it, but I, I thought I'd get your take on it. Honestly, I'm not sure. Like, he's kind of just a weird guy. Like, yeah. some days I want to fight him and stuff because he just looks at me and it's just a face you just want to smack, you know? <laughs> like, you just want to smack him and, and... But some days he's all right. Like, I can stand talking to him, you know? Like, it's, yeah, I'll tolerate a conversation. Yeah. But other days it's just like, mate, get out of my face yeah. before I smack the smile <laughs> off you, you know? But, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just in the red hair maybe or hair. not sure, but... I mean, I'm guessing he's a little bit weird, but I'm guessing he's quite a good mechanic as well. He does the job, especially his past couple of weekends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's not bad at that. He's all right at that. Like, the wheels haven't fallen off. The pipe still makes the correct sound. And stickers are on the bike still, so I think he's doing all right. So, <laughs> Hunter, thank you for talking to us, and best of luck this weekend in Turkey. Thanks, appreciate it. Okay, good luck to Hunter and all the guys. Remember, you can watch the qualifying and the live races on Sunday, all on MHGP TV.